What's up guys, we're here at the launch event for World of Tanks Blitz, the iOS mobile edition of World of Tanks from Wargaming. And I'm here to get some gameplay in, I'm here to talk to some developers, I'm here to check out a one hell of a party. It's going to be a fun time. Let's go. This is a worldwide launch for World of Tanks Blitz. So we launched it on 26th of June, which is basically yesterday, worldwide, apart from China. China release is coming. So there you have it. It's pretty much everywhere. If you're watching our channel, chances are you can play it as long as you've got an iOS device. This is World of Tanks Blitz. It's not the same as World of Tanks, but it's surprisingly similar. And so we've got a member of the dev team here, pretty big shot on the dev team, by the way, who's going to tell us a little bit about the difference between the two games and why you should be start why you should start playing your tanks on the train, on the taxi, anywhere you go. Uh, please introduce yourself and uh, what you do with Wargaming. My name is Dmitry Yudo. I'm the lead producer for World of Tanks Blitz. All right, so for starters, key difference between the two. Is there a pacing difference? Is there a content difference? What are people that are used to playing World of Tanks going to be surprised by when they get into World of Tanks Blitz? Like, first off, on the conceptual level, World of Tanks Blitz is very similar to World of Tanks on PC. So it's still a um, real-time action game with tanks, online PvP. But there are lots of differences when it comes to detail. Like, gameplay-wise, we have more packed, action-packed battles with a higher density of vehicles. So maps are four times smaller, team sizes are two times smaller, which leads to like more action-packed games. Uh, the average battle session is about three to four minutes, which is uh, which is less than on PC. So mm -hmm. it's tailored for mobile player. Obviously, we have simplified and cleaner UI, both in battle and in garage. We've simplified some garage mechanics like uh, we don't have barracks, we don't have depots. So basically it's a streamlined and cleaner World of Tanks version, which has uh, much more differences like comparing to World of Tanks on Xbox and uh, PC. So it's a more deeper adaptation of World of Tanks. And of course, one of the key differences is going to be the control scheme. So how does it work with all touchpad? Well, controls were definitely one of the toughest challenges we were facing during the development cycle. Uh, so, And I think we've done a really good job with that. Uh, first off, it helps us that World of Tanks Blitz is a, uh, well, tanks are relatively slow and uh, vehicles and you don't really have to rely on your reaction, like uh, your reflexes that much because the tanks are slow and, and that helps us a lot. And plus, uh, when it comes to controls, we have some interesting innovations that actually help players to control their tanks. First off, we have this auto-aiming system that helps you to lead enemy targets uh, just with a small swipes without doing that manually. Plus, we have uh, this uh, smart zoom feature that automatically adjusts zoom level depending on the distance to your enemy. So you don't have to do that manually, and again, that helps a lot. Plus, uh, while developing World of Tanks Blitz, we really try to maintain the, the balance between uh, experienced World of Tanks players and the newcomers. Uh, so we've tried to, to make our control system as much user-friendly for new players and as much flexible for uh, veteran players as possible. And I think we've done a pretty good job. I can attest to that. I get my ass kicked on World of Tanks all the time. First time I picked up Blitz, I did a fantastic job. So you guys did an incredible job with the control scheme. Um, in terms of launch content, how many nations, how many tanks, what are the, what are the specs we're looking at? So in terms of content, we have um, over 90 tanks in World of Tanks Blitz right now, which are split into three main nations, which are uh, Soviet Union, uh, the United States, and Germany. So we have three nations. Four, cl four vehicle classes, which are light tanks, medium tanks, heavy tanks, and tank destroyers. Uh, we don't have artillery in World of Tanks Blitz because maps are smaller, there is not that much place to hide. Mm -hmm. So our battles are even more tankish compared to World of Tanks on PC. And then for the Android users, how long are they going to have to wait before they can get in on this action? Well, we've really been working on Android hard. Um, and I can say that we will do as we can so as to put out the Android version until the end of this year, but it's difficult to, to give like a more precise estimation right now. Because of the, you know, the fragmentation of the Android platform, definitely the amount of uh, different devices, hardware, software, you know, it's pretty complex. And then uh, last question, are you going to do anything involving like uh, Google Play and browsers when the time comes, or are you going to try and keep this mainly on the mobile devices? Well, for now it's strictly mobile and we really uh, like to take one thing at a time. So we've launched on iOS. It was our main goal for a long time. Now we have Android. After Android, well, we'll have something else. 
All right, thanks for your time. Let's go enjoy the party. Thanks, enjoy the game. Here we are on the actual iPad edition of World of Tanks Blitz. About to start my first game. First of all, I don't like the UI setup as it is, so I'm going to come in here, and you can actually go into this screen and adjust how everything's laid out so everything's more to your fit. Like, I don't like having to stretch my thumb halfway across the screen to have to hit the fire button, so I move it down a little bit closer. Same thing with the uh, control menu. And you can do that on the fly, even inside of a match, so if you forget to do it, no worries. Most of the UI, it looks really similar to people that have played World of Tanks Blitz. There's no doubt about that. Uh, one thing is that there's a little bit less clutter on the bottom of the screen, which is important because that's where a lot of your controls are going on now. And with your controls there, you don't want to have everything just blocking you out. But the objectives are still the same. Oh, that was a bit of bad lag. There's a whole lot of mobile devices in here soaking up the uh, internet bandwidth so hopefully that doesn't hurt me any more than uh, my own terrible skill at this game already will and uh yeah this actually looks like a pretty similar map to one they have on the live pc version the only difference like uh, you heard from the producer earlier is that they've narrowed down the maps a lot so you're not going to spend a whole bunch of time driving around for a minute before you run into anybody you're going to be in combat right off of the bat like we are here and this map has the control point just like you'd expect for those that aren't familiar with world of tanks other than a complete and total annihilation just taking over the central base on a map is enough to win a game and if you have a bunch of speed tanks rush in and just start camping it it can be pretty hard to get there in time to counter it um so it looks like there's been a little bit of chaos going on back here behind me. I'm going to drive in. I'm using the, I believe this is the M22 Locust. It's a tier three. Uh, it's not, it's kind of a light tank. It doesn't have a whole lot of firepower to it, but it's pretty fast. And it's useful on this like rocky snow terrain, especially when you're uh, not very good at this like me and keep getting stuck on rocks and the like. So the light bulb there, that lets you know that people are spotting you. Time to do some evasive maneuvers and whatnot. Uh, on the right side, you've got your extinguisher, which can put out fire if you uh, get hit a little bit too hard with some concussive blasts. You've also got your medic kit. They are still implementing... Oh, one second. Let's get this guy's head out of the way. They are still implementing some of the features of the PC game, such as the crew. So I don't think the medic, is re the medic kit really does much yet. But I do know that if your treads get messed up, you can hit the mechanic item and get yourself fixed up there. Uh, the matches are surprisingly long for a mobile game, all things considered. Uh, stairs. The only weakness to a tank is stairs. Damn. But there's, they're still definitely shorter than the uh, primary PC games. And the controls are a lot more intuitive. The only thing that's kind of throwing me off on this is you have to keep track of what the front of your tank is. Because, for instance, if you're flipping the camera around, you might be used to, like, an MMORPG where you can literally change your direction by moving the camera. And that's not the case in this. You actually have to manually move your camera separate from your tank. And if you get all twisted and turned around, you might get blown up before you have a chance to react like that guy just did. So we've cleared out most of the map. I'm going to see if I can sneak in around this guy. If I can get around this guy. Yeah, I think I might have put that uh, control pad on the left side a little bit too low on the iPad. I keep accidentally dragging my thumb off of the mouse and losing control of my tank. But here we are. I'm capturing the base. Everything seems good. If you're doing it by yourself, it's pretty slow. And I guess there's one person left that still spotted me. Whew, that was close. That shell could have taken my turret off in one blast, I bet. Um, so one other thing to note, as you might have noticed, it's not just grainy because it's on like a blown up uh, big screen when it's meant for mobile. They're actually operating on a little bit behind the core game. The main, uh, ouch, he got me under, under the train. That is really impressive. So the core game is a little bit behind on the new physics engine upgrades that World of Tanks PC and I believe Xbox 360 now have. So you're not going to see the buildings falling apart brick by brick. The environment isn't quite as destructible. 
But for people that have never touched the game before and that doesn't that basically don't know better, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this. You'll find the controls are a lot easier to pick up and learn once you got get into it. And I feel like there's a more casual audience is gonna be interested in playing this game in the long run versus the PC, which just makes sense. Uh, beyond that, I was talking to some of the PR people at Wargaming earlier. And I managed to snag you guys some extra gold codes for the Xbox 360 as well as PC version. I tried to get some for the iPad. I guess they don't have the item redemption function inside of this game yet. It's something they're still working on. But at least we got that going for you. So check out the description below. And it's also worth noting that not all the content is in in terms of the number of nations that the PC game has, the number of tanks that even the German, Russian, and American nation has. That's still work in progress on its way. So with time, you're going to see a lot more from World of Tanks Blitz than you have now. Just think of this as almost like a soft launch beta, just one of the most successful soft launch betas that I think I've ever seen in the hardcore mobile sphere. But it looks like I'm a smoldering pile of rubble here, and my ally's got 18 HP, so I think I'll call it quits. This is Dizzy PW signing off from the San Francisco World of Tanks Blitz launch party.